Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Good evening. Good evening. Fine. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Okay, welcome, welcome. Today is Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thursday. March. March. Third. Mm. March third. Exactly. The third of March. That's right. March third of 2022, of course, right? So welcome. I'm happy you are here. I'm glad you're here. It's awesome to have you here. Okay. So how was your day? Did you have a good day? Did you have a busy day? Huh? Did you have a relaxing day? How was your day? Yes, teacher. It was good. Today was a good day. It was a good day. Nice. Good news? Mm, no, no, the same. It was kind of the uh, Okay, it was kind of the same, kind of difficult. Okay, but the same activities, but everything was good. That's yes. good. Okay, anybody else? Who wants to talk a little bit about your day? Anything different? In my case, today was an exciting day. It was very, very good. We have really good news in the afternoon, so I'm very happy. <laughs> very, very happy. Okay. It was busy, but it was an excellent day. We received very good news, so I am so happy. Okay. Good to hear that, teacher. Thank you. Likewise. Anybody else? Hello, let's just start talking. Let's Hi, teacher. Hey, evening. good evening. Tell me. Hi, hi, hi. Nice. Okay, so, aquí en Sonsuelice, pues hasta caliente. Very hot. Very hot day. It was yes. very hot. Uh, I believe. Oh, casi a 33 grados. Oh, my God. Máxima. 33 degrees. Caliente. Too hot. Yes. Too hot. Yes. But it's also nothing. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Nice. Okay. Somebody else? Don't be shy. Let's talk. Let's communicate. Let's have a conversation. Uh huh. Good day. Good days, good days. Hi, teacher. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. I had a bad day. Why? Uh, because, ¿cómo se dice? how do you say? Choca, uh, me chocaron a, a car. <laughs> I had a car accident. Somebody crashed my car. Yes, somebody crossed my car. No. Yes. <laughs> I saw a lot of accidents on the street today. Many accidents. Oh, car yes. crash, broken cars. So a lot of accidents. Actually, yes. in the afternoon, the traffic was terrible. Yes, yes. Terrible, terrible. The street, the street, the street, Que saltepeque. <laughs> on the news, on the news every day. Yes. And negative news. Yes, teacher, today, well, usually I need 40 minutes to get home. Mm -hmm. And today, I I use two hours to oh, get home. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Two hours. Yes, traffic uh, traffic was horrible. I understand. In my case, 20 or 30 minutes, it's enough. But today I use an hour in traffic. It was yes, terrible. Mucho. Yeah, too much. Yes, teacher, too much. Too much. <laughs> hi, Jennifer. Jennifer says hi on the chat. 
Okay. Okay. Somebody else? Desahoguense. Take it out. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yes. Tell us. Uh -huh. Someone else? Me desconectaron los audios. Me escucha. Yes, we listen, Jacqueline. Yes. Uh, hello. hello, how are you, teacher? I'm fine. How about you? How are you doing? Oh, my day very tired. Tired. Uh, because I was in... I was at work. I was working. What happened? No problems, don't worry. Maybe you can put it in the chat in the meantime. Wow, teacher. There's a lot it, of music. It cost me a uh, earache. <laughs> now I have an earache. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, poor Jacqueline. Maybe she is on the on the traffic or on the transportation. Sometimes it happens. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, someone else. Anybody else? Who has a nice day? Put your hands up. Who has a good day? Or a reaction, you can react too. Maybe with a happy face, with a celebration, okay? Or any other reaction. Actually, now you have a lot of reactions, like happy, <laughs> okay? So if you had a good day, if, you, if it was fine, if it was okay, at least the same routine, okay? All right, I hope everything is okay. I hope you can manage, yes, manage to control and to solve the issues, the inconveniences, and everything is gonna be all right. Yes, today is Thursday, tomorrow is? Uh-huh. What day is tomorrow? Friday. 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 Finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> and what happens on Friday? No class. <laughs> Relax. Rest. Okay. So yes, today is the last day I mean of classes. This week, tomorrow. You can breathe, you can relax, yes. <laughs> All right, and of course, it's gonna be a normal week. We're just gonna have four days class, and the last day, it's time for you to relax, to concentrate on a different activity, okay? No problems, I'm very happy to see you. I'm very glad that you have photos, at least, on your profile. And some other people that have their cameras on, that is great because I know I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my students, okay? <laughs> and we're going to share the slides to start our class, okay? So this is our class number six, right? Today I have a different mouse. So I have this mouse with color, but it's not the same. So I feel kind of clumsy. Not very efficient mouse. I'm sorry, I forgot my other mouse. Yes, at work. Welcome to our class number six, right? Is that right? Welcome, welcome. Okay, the class, uh, the learning objective for this class would be to name places and things that you can get in those places and locate buildings on a map. We're kind of a, in a hurry, right? Okay, so that's something we're going to do. Of course, this is the vocabulary. But before, before going ahead and sharing this vocabulary about places in a town, I need you to remember, what did we do yesterday? Quiero que haga un poquito de memoria about yesterday class. 
¿Qué fue lo último que estuvimos viendo? You remember? Escríbanlo en el chat. If you remember, say, ah, uh, we talk about this, or we mention this, or we practice this. I don't know. Put it on the chat. ¿Qué es lo que recuerdan de la última parte de la clase de ayer? Yesterday class, what do you remember? Mm -hmm. Teacher, I couldn't attend classes yesterday, ¿Sí? but no. I saw... You saw the video. But I saw... Uh, no, I saw the, the images that you shared with ah, us. Ah, yes. In the group. Uh -huh. And... And I can see that you were the you were talking about some kind of medicines. Medicines, it's um, right. Uh huh. What else? Uh huh. Any other idea that comes to your mind when you saw the images? That's really great, actually. Uh huh. Yes, and a conversation with a doctor. Exactly. Exactly. Very nice. It says we talk about medicines, prescribe medications, exactly talk about medicines and visit a doctor. It's true. So true, 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 true. Actually, yesterday was kind of interesting because the students were performing. There were patients and doctors in the class, okay? And they say, don't drink coffee. Take care of yourself. Do exercise, <laughs> okay? So they were very uh, strict doctors, okay? <laughs> and that's what we did in the last part, exactly. We talk about medicines and visit a doctor. And the doctors prescribe medications, of course, and the doctors give recommendations. So they use the imperatives in affirmative form and negative form. When they say, do exercise, take care of yourself, Okay, don't drink soda, don't eat fat food. So they were giving instructions and using imperatives, right? So this is what we did in last class. Yes, for the ones that didn't come, we already refreshed your memory. So the imperatives is like that. So yes, Oreo wasn't in class yesterday. Yes, but this is what we did. An example, I'm gonna write on the chat, for example, if you have a headache, what is a recommendation in affirmative form? It could be rest, yes? And the negative form would be, um, let me see, would be do not or don't listen to loud music, for example, right? Rest, go to bed. That is a recommendation in affirmative. In negative is don't listen to loud music because if you are listening to loud music, probably you're gonna get a stronger headache, right? So imagine I give you a situation. My problem is an earache. You have to give me recommendations on the chat in affirmative. I have a terrible earache. Uh-huh. Give me recommendations on the chat, but in affirmative. Let's see. Oh, my ear. I have a terrible earache. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't stand it. You take one, two. Fibs? Take a pill. Uh -huh. Use eardrops. Tratemos de decir de una vez la instrucción desde el verbo. Use eardrops. Take a pill. Take a shower. Go to bed. Así, de una vez la instrucción. Como, haga eso. Yes? Ok, what else? What else? What else? ¿Qué más? Go to a doctor. Go to a doctor. See a doctor. Visit a doctor. Yes? Uh -huh. Get some medicine, go to a pharmacy, uh -huh. drink ibuprofen, yes, take an ibuprofen, take a painkiller, yes. Ahora díganme instructions, pero de forma negativa, o sea, no haga eso, like, don't put anything in your ear, 
Don't use earphones. Uh -huh. Instructions para el mismo earache, pero de forma negativa. Using don't. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. In the chat, the same in the chat. Vamos a ver. What else? I have a terrible earache. Oh my God, I can't stand it. It hurts so bad. Don't work. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Don't... Nice recommendation. <laughs> nice recommendation. Uh -huh. Don't. Don't use swaps. Don't use swaps. Uh, is swaps. Swaps. Yes. S W A P S. Swaps. Don't wear earphones. Uh -huh. Don't put alcohol, porque alguna gente se echa el alcohol aquí literalmente cuando les duele los, los ears. Don't put any alcohol. Yeah. Don't use headphones. Don't also. use earphones or headphones. Exactly. Don't use earbuds. Er er Don't <laughs> use earbuds. Exactly. Ear Don't How do you say this? Don't insert your finger or don't scratch your ear. Si hay gente que se empieza como a lastimar con cualquier objeto, right? So, and they can get damaged the ear. Yes? Okay. One more time. What if, okay, don't hear high music with high volume, okay? Loud music. Right. What if, vamos a cambiar de problema. Recuérdense. Las primeras instructions que me dan son de forma afirmativa y las otras son de forma negativa, okay? What if I have a terrible toothache? Oh, oh my tooth is killing me. I need a dentist right away, as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm a good yeah. actress, right? Brush, <laughs> Brush your teeth. <laughs> Que lo escriban, dije. También está diciendo pressure, tío. Ah, qué galán. Hoy me desquito con la teacher, dijeron. Uh -huh. My teeth. Oh. Must go to, go to a doctor. Visit a dentist. Exactly. Brush your teeth. Escríbanlo. Y use floss. Ok, use dental floss. Uh -huh. What else? Ahorita ya me duele. Ahorita el dental floss y el toothpaste no va a hacer mucho. Analgésico. Exactly. Analgésico. Take a painkiller. Take a painkiller. Exactly. Y de las strong, ¿verdad? Strong painkiller. Ajá. Don't eat candies. Ajá, ya vamos con las negras. Don't eat candy. Don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. Take acetaminophen, exactly. Don't bite eyes. Don't bite eyes, exactly. Don't eat popcorn or hard food. Yes. Una vez me... Don't drink <laughs> sugar. Don't eat sugar. Hablando de esto, de esto sí es un example real. Una vez, I was teaching at a university. And on the break, they, ay, qué aburrido. I'm going to get a, a tostada. And I broke a tooth. Literal. Tenía un, how do you call, endodoncia. So I had this feeling and I broke it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so don't eat hard food. Don't eat, okay, don't eat candies. Don't drink chocolate. Don't drink hot drinks. Porque tienen dolor con la sensibilidad or cold drinks, right? Okay, nice. Bye. Thank you, thank you for your support. Bye. De eso se tratan los imperatives de dar instructions, de forma affirmative or de forma negative. Ajá, quiero ver los dotes artísticos de actors aquí y, act y actresses, porque ya les dramaticé dos. One more. Vamos a nominar a alguien. Ayami. <laughs> Ya me les tiene que dramatizar un terrible stomach ache. Pero no van a poder ver. Usted haga los sonidos y diga algo. Como ya les dije, oh no, my tooth. I need a dentist. Vaya, entonces usted diga algo. O si no, sube la cámara. No, sí que es nada. Ah, bueno, ah es... you have a Snoopy blouse. 
<laughs> I like Snoopy. Oh, yes, he's so cute. I love it too. Cuando ya no la quiera y me la do. Donation. Bye. <laughs> Bye. One, two, three, action. Oh, I have a stomach cake. I, I, me duele mucho. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. I ate too much. I ate ten pupusas. <laughs> it's a drama. <laughs> no, no, no lo podemos evitar. Many pupusas. I eat many pupusas. Uh -huh. Empiecen a darle las recommendations. En affirmative first y luego en negative. Mm -hmm. Take a pill. Take a pill. Yes. Take an antacid. You drink, so we drink, drink mm -hmm. um, tablet, uh, effervescence. Effervescent tablet. Take an antacid. Drink, drink pectobismol. Uh -huh. That's an antacid. <laughs> exactly. Take pet to be small, take an antacid. Uh -huh. Don't eat much. <laughs> Don't eat <laughs> until the next day. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't drink um, juice. Don't eat anything that can cause you gases. Exactly. Yes. Don't drink soda. Don't drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Don't drink milk. Mm -hmm. Rest. Go to bed. Relax. <laughs> Don't eat spicy food. Don't eat spicy food. Don't eat snacks. Don't, Don't eat, eat pollo. <laughs> <laughs> Cabbage. <laughs> Don't, Don't eat, eat pizza. Don't eat pizza, don't eat uh, junk food, fast food, exactly. Okay, very good, nice. Va, ya hablamos de estas situations, que era como un repaso de la clase de ayer, les dije. Y ahora vamos a entrar, adentrarnos en la clase de hoy. ¿Qué sería el vocabulary que les había presentado al inicio? De los lugares que pueden encontrar cerca de donde viven, en su community, en su city, ¿qué otro lugar? Digamos. Vale. Por el momento estas son como las más populares, digamos. No es que eso es lo único que haya, ¿verdad? We have letter A, a bank. Letter B, a drugstore. A drugstore podría ser a pharmacy. Cualquiera de las dos palabras está bien, ¿ya? ¿sí? No es que la drugstore es una drugstore y no se puede decir de otra forma. Se puede decir a drugstore o a pharmacy, ¿sí? ¿sí? Es una tendencia más british, dicen a pharmacy. More americans, dicen a drugstore. Que se refieren exactamente al mismo lugar, ¿sí? ¿sí? A post office. Lo sugieren en esta edición, pero I'm not sure si todavía existen los post office. Sí, creo que sí existen, pero ya no son tan popular como antes, porque pues ya existen otras formas de enviar emails, messages, chats, voicemails, right? Entonces los post office ya no son tan popular, pero sí existen también los privates, a courier service, o sea, estos servicios pagados de courier, entonces pueden enviar packages y todo, pero obviamente ya no son como los servicios postales como Correo El Salvador, sino que ya son, tienen algún costo, pero la eficiencia es más rápida. Ok, los tiempos. Ok, I have a good experience with post office Correo del Salvador, because I have a friend who lives in Germany, and she usually sends very nice things, like she usually sends a box of a courier, y si sí, viene like on time nunca se ha perdido nada thank god a gas station aquí donde uno va a empeñar los ojos el cabello 
<laughs> because the gas is terribly expensive these days. <laughs> so you don't buy food, but you need to buy gas, okay? A restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, and a supermarket, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Y acá tenemos a product. Aspirin, bread, a dictionary, gasoline, a sandwich, stamps, a sweatshirt, traveler's check. Yes? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, Thank teacher. You. Yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, teacher. Okay, el number one, aspirin, ya le dan resuelto. ¿Dónde se encuentra la aspirin? In a a drugstore. Drugstore. At a drugstore. At a drugstore. Drug 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 you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Or you can get an aspirin at a drugstore. Déjeme se los pongo en el chat. You can... Comprar sería buy, ¿verdad? O podríamos decir get, conseguir. You can buy or you can get... And aspirin. Bueno, voy a poner aspirin nada más para que no digamos singular or plural. So, aspirin. 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 aspirin at a drugstore. Vaya. You can get, es conseguir. You can buy, es comprar directamente, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí está en el chat. Lo pueden consultar. You can buy or you can get. Cualquiera de los dos verbos podemos usar. You can buy, you can get aspirin at a drugstore. Yes? Entonces, yes. veamos. Yeah. Vamos a poner aquí esto flotante. Veamos, stamps, draw. Vamos a usar este. Eh... Déjenme, muevo esto un poco para acá. Because. Entonces dijimos aspirin at a drugstore. Ajá. Bread. Where can we get bread? Bread in a restaurant. Supermarket. In supermarket. Mm -hmm. Bread, can... if you buy a meal, yes, you can get it at a restaurant, pero ya viene como incluido en el plato, digamos, o en el menú. Pero si solo quiero pasar por una bolsa de pan, you can get or you can buy bread. In buy bread. Uh -huh. Supermarket. Uh -huh. Supermarket. Uh -huh. At a supermarket. Exactly. Okay, what about a dictionary? Uh, a bookstore. Bookstore. Okay. You can get a dictionary at a bookstore. Exactly, a complete a dictionary at a bookstore. Gasoline? Uh, you can get gasoline at a gas station. You can get gasoline at a gas station. What about sandwich? Where can I get a sandwich? At a restaurant, maybe. At a restaurant, yes, um, for sure. Again, a sandwich. Uh -huh. You can get a sandwich. You can buy a sandwich. At a restaurant. At a restaurant. A stamps. Where can I get a stamps? Uh, what is a, a, a post office. office? You can get a stamps at a post office. What about a sweatshirt? At a department store. At a department, department store. store. Okay, I'm gonna put the letter H right here. Oh no, that was uh sorry. Uh the department store is letter G, right? Okay. Letter G. I can get a sweatshirt at a department store. Okay, what about travelers check? Where can I get traveler's check? A bank. At a bank. Exactly. Bank. Okay. What is the question? Mm -hmm. 
What was the Where question? you can get. Exactly. Where can I get? Where can you get? Uh -huh. Can I? Where? Sí, can I? Where can I get? And the answer, you can get. Yes? So I'm going to put it in the chat. Let me see. I'm going to move this right here. The question you have to ask. Okay. Hold on. Where? Where can I? Donde puedo yo conseguir tal cosa, verdad? Where can I get a, or where can I get gasoline, for example? Esto es opcional. La última parte usted va a decidir de qué preguntar. Where can I get gasoline? Y usted va a responder. You can get gasoline. Uh -huh. uh -huh. At a gas station. At a gas station. Yes. You can get gasoline at a gas station. ¿Dónde está escribiendo, teacher? En el chat. <laughs> teacher, ¿en cuál chat? What? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No me aparece ese. Oh, no. Espérenme. No, ni a mí tampoco, ni me aparece. Sorry. Por, el, por error yo lo escribí directamente a alguien, sorry. Where, wrong chat. Y wrong chat era el de Norma. Y Norma no nos dice, Norma. Sorry, teacher, estaba copiando. Copiando. Estaba copiando. A mí sí me llega, a usted no le llega. Sí, lo pensé. Uy, me no escribe a mí la teacher. Le dije, este es un new mouse y no me sirve la like the other one. Where can I get? Ay, that was so funny. Y yo voy a buscar en todos los chats y dije, quizás en mí no me aparece. That was funny. Okay. You can get. Ay, no, sorry. At a gas station. And the other one's like, yo le estoy dando la respuesta. You can get gasoline. At a gas station. I'm sorry. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Oh, I see. To everybody. <laughs> Sorry, Tati. Oh, no. Right, I see. I see, I said, not the example. Where can I get gasoline? You can get gasoline at a gas station. Where can I get aspirin? You can get aspirin at a drugstore. Where can I get a traveler's check? Or you can get a traveler's check at a bank. Yes? Hoy se entiende? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I got it. Got it. Entonces, voy a compartir esta imagen en el chat de WhatsApp. <laughs> y ustedes van a trabajar in pairs, ¿ok? Imagínense que yo estoy trabajando con Mr. William Liborio. Y le digo, where can I get uh, where can I get vegetables? ¿Dónde puedo conseguir ve vegetables? Vegetales. Uh, you can you can get vegetable. Uh, oh, no. Sería in con un ara. At the supermarket. At a supermarket. Sí, yes. yes. At a supermarket. At a supermarket. Perfect. Imagine that I'm working with Mr. Vidal Mejia. Where can I get books? Uh, you can get books. You can get the um, bookstore. At a bookstore. At yes. Bookstore. You can get books at a bookstore. Yes. Generalmente ustedes se fijan que dice bookstore. Shoe store, yes? Entonces es como una tienda de estas cosas en específico, ¿verdad? Yes? Drug store. Yes. No es que vendan drogas ilegales, pero las medicinas son drogas, ¿ok? <laughs> right? Ok, Jami, you have a question? Yes, teacher, este, one question. Mm -hmm. eh, cuando nos este, referimos a, a un lugar podemos ir a, a comprar las cosas, este, lo correcto para todos sería at, 
Ada. No ha ni han. Lo que pasa es que si nosotros decimos, eso va a depender. Por ejemplo, si yo digo en, tendría que la palabra seguir o iniciar con un, o sea, la palabra que sigue iniciar con una vocal. Por ejemplo, an, no sé, no se me ocurre ahorita nada que inicie con una vowel de, de un tipo de lugar, un, un comercio o un business, pero no es necesario. Sí, vamos a decir en una, por ejemplo, en una librería o en una gas station, en una papelería, en un banco, ¿sí? Entonces eso es ara, at, a, yes, a gas station, at, generalmente es, o sea, para deletrearlo es at, a, pero para pronunciarlo es ara, at a bookstore, at a gas station, yes, at a restaurant, at a supermarket, yes. Teacher, algo así como an application office o uh -huh. something like that. Exactly. Lo que pasa es que se hace como un linking sound. Entonces suena así como at a, at a bookstore. Yes. At a stationery. Yes. At a university. At a school. At a park. Right. At a shoe store. At a shopping mall. All right. Bye. Pero Vamos. siempre se respetaría el la escritura a siempre se respetaría el hecho de que ajá, de que después el, si la palabra que sigue es una iniciara con comienza una con vowel, vocal ahí sería sí. an, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, ahí sí. Of course. Ajá, uh -huh. uh, an. Uh -huh. All right. Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer los groups y luego les comparto la imagen. Veamos, I'm going to make 10 groups. Hopefully everybody can participate. Para que todos sí puedan participar. Y si quedan en tríos, pues igual participan en tríos. Ok. Let's see. Let's create all the groups. Some groups are in three and some groups are in pairs. This meeting is being recorded. Where can I get a um, cake? Cake. Cake. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, here. Uh, supermaker. Market. Yes. You can get a cake at a supermarket. You can get a cake at a bakery. Yes. Traten de usar como la oración completa. You can get. La, re la respuesta sería. You can get. You can, you can get a cake. Get a cake. You can get shoes. You can get books. Uh -huh. You can get gas. Lo que, lo que les estoy consultando. Que donde lo pueden consultar. Conseguir se dice you can get algo a, en tal lugar. Yes. Okay. El finish de la oración, ¿cuál es? No le escuché más. Uh, you can get a cake at, okay. a, at a supermarket. ¿Cómo se pone? At a. a at. 
at a. At a. Uh -huh. at, a. Uh -huh. okay. at a supermarket. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Where can I? Siguiente. Oh, where can I get? Uh, what? Office. Okay, where okay. can I get a uh, sandwich? Where can I get sandwich? You can get a sandwich at a restaurant. Y ahí sería, you can get stamps at a post office. At a post office. Ok. El uh, a, cuando uno pronuncia at a, que es una sola palabra, entonces estamos diciendo en una. Where are... Where, where can I get it in this shirt? Hello. You can get a t-shirt at a... No sé, diría dónde. <laughs> En Prisma Mora. At a department store. At a department store. Yes. At a clothes store. In shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, shopping centers en inglés realmente lo que significa es un centro comercial. Centro comercial. Mm -hmm. Puede ser shopping center o shopping mall. Oh. Mm -hmm. Y lo hemos adoptado. Ajá, se ha adaptado. Exactly. Porque, por ejemplo, cuando se dice, vamos a la Gran Vía, we go to a shopping center, we go to a shopping mall. Vamos a Metro Centro, we, we go to a shopping center, we go to a shopping mall. Ah, porque antes decíamos, vamos de shopping. Exactly. Era a un centro comercial. Exactly. Ahora es como shopping center. Ajá, la, van a porque, ajá porque es un lugar... Eh, como un nombre atractivo para ir shopping. Ajá. Uh -huh. Más de caché. Exactly. <ríe> Continúa. Este, Marta. Hola. Hello, Marta. Hello. Where can I get it? Uh, shampoo. Quiero ver shampoo, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Shampoo. Shampoo. Yes. Shampoo. Where, where can I get it shampoo? You can get a shampoo at, at the supermarket. Okay. Where can I get a pencil? Uh, you can get a pencil at a bookstore. Yeah. You can get a bookstore at the library. 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 And then at also a supermarket and the store. Or the bookstore. 
Oh. Where can I get a sofa? A sofa. You you can get a sofa at a cradle. Cradle store. You can get a sandwich at a, at a restaurant. Uh, at a restaurant, yes. Where can I get bread? You can buy bread at a department store. No, bread. A supermarket. Ah, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Super. <laughs> Where can I get uh, sweet cheers? Uh, you can get get a sweet cheers at a department store. You can get a sweet. A sweet cheers, verdad? Sweet cheers. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sweet cheers. cheers. Para departamento. Yes. Mm -hmm. Una pregunta. Hola, si gusta me pregunta usted. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Ay, hey. How was the practice? <laughs> Where can I get jeans? You can get jeans at a department store. At a department store, exactly. Where can I get a computer? You can I get computer? Uh, a post office. You can do a post office. A computer at a post office? No. Uh, no. At the office depot. A bookstore. You can get a computer <laughs> at the office depot. No van a pagar. Están haciendo commercial. You can get a computer at an electronic store. Yes. Okay. So it's similar. Where can I get the other end? Uh -huh. You can get the, the other end at teacher? a supermarket. The other end at a supermarket. At a, supermarket. Uh, at a beauty shop. Uh -huh. Where can I get toothbrush? You can get toothbrush. 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 At a drugstore. At a drugstore, at a, mm -hmm. at a supermarket, at a, at a supermarket. drugstore, yes, you know, everything, you can get everything, almost everything at a supermarket now, yes. at a, a computer, or even or at a computer, <laughs> you can get a Jesse. computer at a supermarket, if it is a big supermarket, you can get cell phones, right, where can I get, uh, let's see, medicines, at a supermarket also. <laughs> some medicine. Get, uh, some medicine at a, yes, you can get okay. some medicines at a supermarket, but obviously with a prescription at a drugstore, right? Okay. Where can I get a uh, coffee? A cup of coffee. Not coffee to prepare. A cup of coffee. 
You can get a coffee at a restaurant, a bakery, at a bakery, at a coffee station. Exactly. These places are called coffee station. Yes. Bakery. Yeah, you can get bread, cake, star. A lot of commercials in this class. We're going to get a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Teacher, yes. how do you say, así como decimos en español, un café? Que nosotros lo entendemos como un lugar al que vamos a tomar un café con postre. A café. Así, a café. Yes, a café. Like ah, okay. a place to, to drink coffee. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Actually, okay. a cafe or a cafeteria okay. or a coffee station. Okay, thank you, teacher. No problem. Okay. What else? Ajá. Uh -huh. Bye. Hay lugares en los que uno no va necesariamente a comprar algo, pero va a algo. Yeah, por ejemplo, a un theater. ¿A qué va uno? Uh -huh. ¿A qué va un teatro? Uh, I, to uh, watch some to musical. Obra de teatro. Ok, uh, to see a musical, para ver un musical. Ok, una obra de teatro se dice a play. No necesariamente en este caso play es jugar. Acuérdense que play puede tener muchos okay. significados. Play an instrument, play a sport, play a game, pero en este caso no es un verbo, es una play. A play, to see a play. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. To see a play. A play, like Romeo and Juliet. That's a play. Solo, teacher, solo puede decir see. play, se entiende que es una obra de teatro. Sí, estamos, no, pero tiene que ponerle a, como una obra. A play. A play, oh. yes. Uh -huh. a play. Obviously, si estamos hablando en el contexto de teatro. Si usted okay. dice, oh, okay. he's an actor, he performs Romeo in a play. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you. I, li uh -huh. I listen to opera. Okay, to listen to an opera. Exactly. To listen to an orchestra playing a concert, right? So, ¿qué más podríamos hacer? En... Orchestra symphonic. A symphonic okay. orchestra, yes. Va, ¿Qué haríamos en una station? Aquí podría ser a train station, a bus station. Ajá. Uh -huh. What do we do? ¿A qué vamos? ¿Cuál es la, la, el objetivo principal de ir a una station? De cualquier tipo de station. Transportation. To take a bus. To take, to take a bus. To take any type of transportation. To take a train. Exactly. What do we do in a hospital? Visit um, doctor. Visit a doctor, see a doctor. Cuando nosotros decimos see a doctor, no se toma tan literal como en español que solo voy a ver el doctor. No, es obviously porque le voy a decir qué es lo que me pasa, porque voy a escuchar su, su diagnóstico en bla, bla, bla. ¿verdad? Pero así se dice, como resumido, ¿verdad? to see a doctor. Uh -huh. To get some treatment. To get some treatment, to get an x-ray, to get vaccinated. Hay to get... To get therapy. To get therapy, to get some exams, to get a general checkup. O sea, hay tantas, tantas razones por las que ir a un hospital, ¿verdad? To a church. To clean my sins. <laughs> to clean my sins and my soul. <laughs> and my heart. <laughs> uh -huh. To pray. To, to sing, pray. Mm -hmm. to pray God, to sing, to collaborate, to organize an activity, to participate, okay? How do you say in a, in a church speech? Es como algo más formal, pero um, in a lecture, mm -hmm. podría ser. To read the Bible. Okay. The reasons to go to a hotel. To get relaxed. Sleeping. 
to sleep over a night, to take a vacation, vacation, to relax, to, to work, <laughs> to work. Some people work in a hotel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to spend the night, to wait for an airplane, to wait for a flight. Hay gente que está viajando simplemente hace una escala. Mm -hmm. To have a meeting, to have a conference. Yes, to stay. Okay, what about a bank? To pay my bills. Yeah. To pay my bills. To get a check. Okay, to get a check. To cash some money. O sea, si nosotros hacemos una cuenta, tenemos dinero en la cuenta, pero no tenemos el cash, a veces necesitamos ir al bank, right? To deposit in an account. To open to an account. To turn off. Uh -huh. Como pagar un recibo. Pagar to pay cuentas. a bill. Uh -huh. To pay a credit. To be, right? Now I'm okay. going to ask you, where can I see a musical? You can see a musical. Uh -huh. At a theater. At, at, at a theater. theater. Where can, where can I get an x-ray? An hospital. To get a hospital. hospital. Uh -huh. You can get an x-ray at a hospital. Where can I take a train? Where can I take a tour? <laughs> at a station. You can get a tour okay. at a station. Uh -huh. Where can I cash my money? You can get at a bank. You can cash your money at a bank, right? Where can I stay overnight? You can stay overnight at a hotel. You can yeah. stay overnight at a hotel, exactly. Where can I do exercise? You can you can uh, exercise you at gym. Gym. At a gym. At a gym. Exactly. You can at do gym. exercise at a gym. You can do exercise at a soccer field. You can do exercise at a park. Ya no necesariamente tiene que ser un lugar en específico porque hay muchos lugares donde podría ejercitarme, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, perfect. Where can I see a movie? You can, you can see you a can movie see at a cinema. At a movie theater. At a cinema or a movie theater, it's the same. Uh huh. Where can I? Where can I go camping? You can go to camping. Can, I can get it at a camping at a Cerro Verde. Camping field. <laughs> At a camping field, <laughs> at a Cerro Verde, at a hospital, park. <laughs> at a park, uh -huh. at a mountain, at a, a, mountain. Uh -huh. at a river, Selva. In, <laughs> your, in your backyard, <laughs> in your back, I don't have a backyard, my backyard is closed, we, we use it as a, a, at a space for, oh yeah, I'm sorry, oh, yeah. at a, <laughs> At an impossible. Uh huh. At a forest. Exactly. Where can I buy some shoes? You can get a shoe store. Shoe store. Shoe store. Exactly. Where can I get some ice cream? You can get it as ice cream, ice cream. at a uh, neveria. Uh, <laughs> Another commercial. <laughs> <laughs> at an ice cream shop. What? Uh, como, como es? An, an ice cream shop. Ice cream shop. <laughs> yes. You can get some ice cream at an ice cream shop. Where can I get some candies? Teacher, pero ya fuera de broma, si ¿sí se puede decir este 
directamente a un hombre comercial. Sí se puede decir, solo que por razones de video de YouTube. Sí, sí se puede sí. y si usted entiende y sabe que a la persona a quien le está hablando conoce de ese lugar comercial. Porque, por ejemplo, si está hablando con una persona que no conoce la realidad nuestra, el salón, alguien de otro país, por decir, alguien from China, from Ar Arabia Saudi, le va a quedar, ¿qué es eso? What's that? Aunque hable inglés. Uh -huh. Se dice, oh, you can get uh, some ice cream at an ice cream shop. There is an ice cream shop called, o sea, una que se llama, yeah, so you give more information. No problem. <laughs> of course, you can do that. That's not a problem. It's just because, you know, we're making a video here in the class. <ríe> y aquí tenemos otros lugares que se los voy a enviar para que los estudien y mañana, mañana. I, I have the terrible custom to say tomorrow, but in reality, you can, okay, you can study this vocabulary to ask and answer questions about different activities for Monday. Okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Monday. Yes, teacher. Blessings. Bye. 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 Bye.